Hello, my name is Mike McAdam, and I have invited George Wiseman here today, the inventor of the Aquacure AC50, to discuss the importance of the tower cap on top of the Aquacure AC50. Welcome, George, to my shop. Take it away. It's good to How see you. you. So, Mike is my son-in-law and is doing a great job of manufacturing these Aquacures in Maine. Uh, so he invited me over and uh, we'll, there's, there's rumors going around on the internet that the tower cap isn't necessary. And we felt that it was necessary to address why it is necessary. So uh, this is a look inside the AquaCure. And as you can see, this is the main electrolyzer. So this is where the gas is made. Now the liquid level is up about here. You can, you, you can see the liquid level. We try to keep it right about that level there. And as the um, uh, gases, the hydrogen, oxygen, and electrically expanded water are coming out of the solution, out of the liquid, they're little tiny bubbles and they pop. And when they pop, they make a kind of a vapor or a cloud that kind of hangs over the, uh, the, the top here. And as, the, as it goes up, as the gases come up this tube here, now it, it can take that cloud up with it. And those little micro droplets, that cloud, we don't want because that's not the Brown's gas. That's, that's little bubbles of solution, if you will, little, little droplets of solution, which has lye in it. We don't want that. Now, originally, these uh, chassis that come from China have this particular, they call it a filter on the front. It's mostly filled with uh, water. And this section here has a tube that comes over and connects to here when this is mounted on the front. And so that's how the gases get over to here. But as you can imagine, now when we've got those little tiny droplets coming out this tube, because that's the way it is when it's, when it's hanging in there, uh, a lot of lye ends up in over here. And when you're operating this with a torch, that really doesn't matter, not a big deal. But when we're doing it for uh, health purposes, it is a big deal. We wanna make sure the lye stays in the machine. So we took this off the front you can, we put it back when people want to actually use the torch. There's a way that you can do it on it, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is making sure that you have as little lie as possible. So once we determined that, we went back to a, um, and I, I'm sorry, I don't want to crowd you out here. Oh, yeah. Here, we'll just we'll we'll move this over here. So that, there we go. Um, we went back to something I'd been using a long time ago in my original electrolyzers. I've been working with Brown's gas for over 40 years. So we've done thousands of experience, experiments and it's cost us millions of dollars actually over, uh, over that full time to, do all, to learn all the things that we know. So back to the tower cap. So as you can imagine, when you look here, this stem coming up attaches to the bottom of the uh, uh, tower cap and as the uh, mist rises, it starts to separate. The, the heavy mist particles stay down and the gas, the Brown's gas itself, starts to rise up above. So by the time we get the gas coming out of the top of the tower cap, we have the uh, um, liquid vapor separator, if you will. And so one of the reasons that we have a tower cap is because it works. It makes, it, it reduces the amount of maintenance you have to do because when you have one of these and it's, and it's getting lye in there quite quickly, then you have to keep changing the water out in order to keep the, because uh, the, the water filters or traps any of those little moisture uh, droplets. So as you can imagine here, if there was any little moisture droplets coming out and going down this tube, now we have this trap, but this is just a redundancy. In the original electrolyzers I was using a tower cap, I didn't even use this. We went directly from here to the drinking water jar and then we inhaled from that. So this is our redundant safety. So we have double uh, safety. We have first, we want to make sure that the uh, water, the droplets stay down and the, just the essentially drier gas comes out the top and then in any little minuscule amounts of uh, droplets that end up remaining get trapped in the water here because it's a little water droplet so the fresh water just traps it. So the first reason we're talking about having a tower cap is to pre-separate the mist from the gas itself. 
and it does it a lot better than these uh, systems here do. Now, this is important if you're using a torch because it is backfire resistant, you know, when, or, or proof even. So when you get a backfire, it stops here. The backfire doesn't go all the way back into the machine. Okay, so the uh, second reason that we're using uh, this type of a tower cap thing is because of sludge blocks. Uh, sludge is normally formed in the electrolyzer over time, and, and when you go to pour it out the uh, solution in order to clean the sludge out, the sludge pours past these fittings here, and some of the sludge can go out into this fitting and block the gas flow. So by not having this here, as far as the gas is concerned, and having a great big opening here for the tower cap, the tower cap uh, is resistant to any kind of sludge block. You're not gonna block this great big, uh, what is it, three quarter inch hole practically. So, the, uh, as, so that allows free flow uh, going up and so that's another reason why we have the, uh, the tower cap. Now, when you get an, um, hot gases, they hold more moisture. Now, the moisture isn't really water droplets. It's a, it's a vapor, and that vapor can come out of here, and then it gets trapped over there because this is a cool uh, uh, solution, and it uh, cools it down, and, and it condenses. But again, this is one of the reasons why we have a tower cap where over here, there's no stopping that vapor. As this thing warms up, you're gonna get more water vapor out, or solution vapor in this case, which has more lye in it. So we wanna separate out those vapors. There are machines out there on the market, and, and there's a lot of them that are saying, you don't need a tower cap at all, it just, you know, and it's just because they're lazy and they don't know what they're talking about. And then there's the people that mimic us and put a tower cap on, but it's just a long, thin, white tube. They get, don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of making a mock-up so people will think it's close enough to an aqua cure and they sell it for sometimes even more money. I've seen some of those sell for $3,000 instead of $2,500 that we're selling the aqua cure. And they put almost nothing inside the machine. Nothing, all these additional things that we put in the machine so that we've got the uh, uh, liquid level monitors and safeties and extra circuit boards and and the way we modify all of the parts and everything in the machine, they don't do any of that. So all those safety things aren't there. So we're back to, we want to uh, condense the water moisture. So it's, uh, this long tube here actually allows the gases to cool. And if you're using the AquaCure a lot, so you've got hot gases coming up, you're going to see the beads of water forming on the uh, tower and then just dropping back down into the electrolyzer. So Again, purifying the gas by not only getting rid of the fog, but the hot water moisture. So another thing that happens is if any soap or oil, sorry, oils get in the machine, so you have water, distilled water that you're putting in with the uh, fitting here, and that's another one of the things that the tower cap does. It has a little check valve here so that if the, uh, or when the, the gas is hot, gas is cool, if there wasn't a valve here, if it was plugged, a vacuum would form in the electrolyzer and that vacuum would pull water back out of the humidifier and into the machine and then overfill the machine in time. So a lot of the other people put a check valve in this hose so gas can flow one way, liquid can't flow the other. The problem is that most of those check valves have a 0.5 psi pressure differential. So in other words, the pressure here has to rise to at least 0.5 before any gas will start to flow. And what we try to do for safety is keep the pressure in the electrolyzer as low as possible. It's absolutely essential um, for safety because any explosions that happen in the electrolyzer, we want it to be able to uh, hold and, and not uh, hurt anyone. So we wanna make sure that it's low as possible. So what we do instead of putting a check valve in this hose, we put a check valve here. So as a vacuum starts to form, as the hot gases cool and they condense and they, and they start to form a lower pressure in the machine, the air will come in this duckbill check valve from the atmosphere and mitigate the vacuum. So no vacuum forms and this gas, uh, the liquid won't be pulled back up here and there's no half a PSI that has to build pressure to push against that.
So that's another reason that we're using the tower cap the way we are. And then this is easily cleaned and, uh, and it maintains clean because that's where we squirt the water in. You don't even have to undo a cap. You just take the syringe and squirt in the water. It can even be squirted in while the machine is running, which of course, if you're taking a cap off in order to put it in, you could never do. So getting back to the oil, if your distilled water that you're putting in the tower cap has any oil in it, and a lot of distilled water does, even a distiller, if you're using a distiller, even our, our um, the uh, water lovers distillers that we use, uh, if there's oil in it, it'll often distill over with the water. If the oils are about the same uh, distillation temperature as the, or, or less than the water that you're distilling. So you end up with oil. When oil meets lye, it forms soap. That's how soap was formed for, you know, since mankind was about on the planet, probably. But it, and, uh, and, and lye is a natural thing. It forms in the forest when you burn uh, wood. And if you were put water through wood ashes, the lye comes out. That's how the uh, nature keeps the uh, pH balance in the environment and all that kind of stuff. So lye is a, is a good thing. You can uh, email us and ask about that. That's not why we're here to talk about that. The point is, when you get the oils in the machine and it's forming soap, one of the things that can happen is foam. Now, you've, it, most everybody's washed dishes with dish soap, so you see the soap bubbles coming up. And if you see the soap bubbles coming up in this tower cap, which you can see because it's a transparent cow, tower cap. Transparent, that's why we have a transparent tower cap, because that foam, if it rised enough, would start going out with the gas and contaminating, because that foam has lye in it. It's, it's water with, you know, soap bubbles. And so we don't want the foam to rise if there is foam enough to get out with there. Uh, and that's another reason we have height is because, and not like over here, if there's any foaming here, it just immediately goes out and contaminates everything. Over here, the foam can actually separate from the gas and the foam can fall back and the, and the gas is still pure. And then eventually the foam all turns into, the oils turn into soap and you still have to clean out the soap deposits that are in the machine with the uh, maintenance rinses, but you don't have the problem with the, uh, with the foaming. So we've reduced uh, maintenance by eliminating this. You don't have to keep cleaning it and cleaning it pretty much every time you use it in order to prevent contamination going out elsewhere. And so you just take the uh, water that's in here in the humidifier, and that's the water you take the syringe and suck it up and pour it back in, and squirt it into here because if there's any microscopic amounts of lye in there, you're now putting it back into the machine. So it's, this is, I love twofers, the two for the price of one kind of thing. And so in this case, we use the water, the distilled water first to uh, clean the gas and then, uh, or, or filter any of those little droplets out, we're talking about that. And then secondly, we use that same water to actually make the gas because we put it in the machine and the machine splits the water into hydrogen, oxygen, and electrically expanded water, which browns gas, and out it comes with the hose. So there's, a, there's another uh, reason is because we're reducing maintenance there. So it also helps prevent or watch for overfilling. If we did get a situation where we have, for example, this check valve gets stuck, and it can, it's easily cleaned, but it can. So now a vacuum forms and it, and it pulls back water here, and you end up with an overfull situation you can actually get liquid levels that come right up into this tube here. Now, theoretically, and is the high liquid level sensor would sense that and not allow the machine to make any gas when you're doing that. But you can see the liquid level. It not only foam, but if actual liquid gets up in here for whatever reason, you've overfilled it, maybe the sensors weren't working as well as they should, uh, which, by the way, they're very reliable these days. We've upgraded a whole lot. Sure have. And so in any case, we can see liquid level and, and the condensation and all those kind of things that are happening there. We can prevent overfilling. So overall, the tower cap is the best solution possible for all of the uh, uh, reasons that we've just talked about. So anybody out there that is saying they can take a Chinese chassis like this and not put a tower cap on it and it's better, simply doesn't know what they're talking about, period. Okay, now just quickly, Um, this tower cap has the uh, um, 
union fitting on the bottom, which makes it very easy to uh, take off and install and, and, and turn any direction that you want. But it also requires this bottom piece to have Teflon tape. So you're putting Teflon tape around there and, and, uh, and sealing that. A lot of people were having problems sealing this bottom piece. Now this is a very good tower cap, but this, uh, this bottom piece here was uh, the seal between the threads because this is three quarter national pipe taper threads. And on here we have 20 by one uh, millimeter threads. They're almost the same, but it requires the Teflon tape in order to seal properly. So what we've done is we've invented a couple of adapters. So we call it tower cap base adapters. So instead of this union, or in addition to the union, like if you took this uh, bottom, bottom piece off and put this adapter in there, this is three quarter national pipe taper. In here is 20 by one threads and a gasket, okay? So when you glue this in on the bottom of whatever tower cap you have and you screw it down, that gasket seals, no more Teflon tape is needed. We have no more people with the issues of uh, the gas leaking into the machine. So this is a less expensive version with the PVC, we call it on our websites. And then this is the more expensive uh, stainless steel version, which by the way, the, the uh, seal inside here can then be taken out and replaced if, for example, it gets damaged for some reason. So there is the tower cap and the reasons why we should have it. Thank you very much, George. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Mike. You got it. See y'all. Thank you.